Hey guys, so in today's video I will be covering high tide and water healing. So what high tide does is it allows certain water abilities to gain additional effects. So in regards to healing, your mending wave will critically heal. So this is meant for alerts and duos, but I wouldn't recommend in healing a duo unless needed. But this is recommended for alerts. So if you hit high tide and mending wave, it will heal your three injured group members. Now for raids, this will heal up to eight people with blessing of the depths. But this time, instead of only critically healing, this will leave a heal over time. And then with your soothing mist, it will um, heals are increased if you are high tide. And the tempest of God, it heals the individual once the shield goes away if that person receives damage during the shield phase and the other heal is okay so bubble is another shield but it doesn't do anything with high tide i think that's all of the healing powers which actually use high tide as a healing uh, mechanic i don't think there is anything else nope i don't think there is anything else Just having a double check. Yep, that's it. Wonderful. So now, as you can see, this is um, for healing as well. So if you're high tide, the pool will tranquilo pool also grants each group member bubble. This effect removes high tide, so it works for supercharges as well. But only for this one here. So the actual tranquil pool pool will actually use high tide. So now onto the actual loadout. So every time you hit slimy strikes, it will it actually says each strike from slimy strike against a target reduces the current cooldown of high tide by four seconds. So if I normally hit high tide and go to the description, there's a massive cooldown which is thirty seconds. Now if we're going to slimy strikes once, as you can see the cooldown got reduced by a lot. And to make sure that happens, is when you have to tap range two times after you hit your actual tsunami strikes power. If you don't, nothing will happen, as you can see. Nothing happened. But if I tap range, you can see the cooldown is reduced by a lot but then on the second time the cooldown is gone because you have to tap range twice for that effect for this power interaction to take effect so now the only three powers that actually use high tide will be soothing mist blessing of the depths and your eight man shield so what i would do is i would construct this loadout in a way where all of your moves which require high tide keep them all in one spot then have your um, your healing circle as the last one then have your tsunami strikes like that so you can pretty much go like this put your circle down Have your eight man shield. If you need to go into Seven Mist, go for it and hit your healing circle, then go back into Snarmy Strikes. Go back into your Blessing Depths, which is your heal over time with the high tide. And go back into Blessing Depths again if you need it. Go into your healing circle. Go back into 8 man shield. Go back into blessing depths, hit your circle, get the picture. Very effective in healing um, very high numbers in raids. Because with this loader, you are always critically healing every single of your heal moves except for your circle. Oh, where's it gone? I accidentally clicked it out. But yeah. So now for a 
um, for a alert version of this I will just replace um, blessing of the depths with mending wave for your three injured group members here and that's about it so this loader is very simple and the consumption of power is very low now in regards to my actual artifacts now I am I do have I Gemini in here but you should use a um, page of destiny for the alerts for the raids you can use a you can use page of destiny as well because technically we won't be using I Gemini or you can use the transformation card to even further critical heal all of your moves because with the transformation card it actually increases your critical magnitude and critical chance if you go to the stats tree so it enables the critical chance and magnitude it increases both of these stats with the transformation card but it reduces your overall healing if you want to go or crit crazy you can with the high tide because this will actually enable you to crit your soothing miss but with the transformation card with the transformation card it, it will allow you to crit even further okay so now for the demon fang you can take this out as well if if you want and you can put in the other the other healer artifact that you can put in is the page of destiny like i talked about so you can have orb page of destiny a transformation card so the page of destiny will um, increase your heal over time which actually does come from your tempest of god and your bending wave okay so it will both them heal heal over time moves with the page of destiny and then the transformation card will actually crit all of your healing okay so that's the two that would change for this particular loadout to ensure that you are always critically healing every single of your healing powers with high tide and and your artifacts and it will generally give you a higher resto base as well and in regards to the mods um, use energized tempest guard so now even though this loader is not power heavy every time you use tempest guard so let me pop a soothing mist a few times there you go i got two five one three power just by hitting tempest guard i know it isn't much but in a raid with a controller that additional power will help a lot then the normal restoration mods and then you have the cool liner bubble even though i'm not using bubble you can if you go to go to my inventory you can use something else that's different so you can have um accelerated solar vc as one of the mods since you're not since you're not using the bubble move so this will allow you to hit your solos of C much quicker than normal and then your actual chest mod isn't fine you can have power efficiency and then with your leg mod because we, since we're not using riptide again you can go and go to your actual base and go to the leg mod I believe there is one move that we can use Let's have a look. So we have crashing wave, we don't use riptide, water spots. Okay. So there's nothing that we can pretty much use for that. And then for your hands mod, of course, you have regenerating regenerative shielding. And then in regards to your affinity mods, I don't have any lead gear, but this is this is what you would use. You would use restoration by 1%, 1% again, priority heal. So active while wearing six pieces, using a priority heal, which is your soothing mist, will reduce the power cost of the next power you use within 15 seconds. And then grants an invisible aura to heal nearby allies over time. So if you are fully lead, you will get these additional buffs on top of whatever you're getting from your artifacts like Page of Destiny, Transformation Card, and the High Tide, which allows water powers to critically heal. So if you want to get the maximum healing out of a raid with water, this is the loader that you need to use. But if you just want to simply go um, shield spamming or spamming riptide to get two circles, then the supercharge to get four circles, you can do that. Do that as well. 
totally down to you as your playstyle. I know some water healers tend to use this loadout compared to the um, supercharge and the riptide loadout with the shields. But it's totally down to you as an individual. So just to recap, just to go over the actual loadout itself. So go into your high tide with the shield circle, snarmy strikes, one, two, and once more, it will come off cooldown. Go into your eight man heal. That will leave the um, go into the circle. Go back into that. As you can see, the solace of sea is now getting a quicker cooldown. Very power efficient loader. Very simple. And please also do note Snarmy Strike's power cost is very low and it, it will also decrease the damage dealt and but he was the most damaged group member so by spamming this all the time you are also healing all of your members in the group regardless of hitting high tide with your other powers so every time you're using this you are actually healing everyone in the group anyways so there, there will be constant heals in the group every single time every second regardless of um, regardless of what powers you use so now I did cover the artifacts, but the two artifacts you may need with this loadout to make it more efficient is the Page of Destiny and the Transformation Card. Now for the um, for the Shield and SC loadout, these are the artifacts you would use. But for this loadout, you have to get the Page of Destiny and Transformation, like I said, because it will allow you to increase your heals over time, and it will increase your critical magnitude and chance by a lot with the transformation card so thank you for watching hopefully this video was useful for some of you guys who who were not sure how high tide works with water healing but here you go this is how you would use it practically in a raid or a alert so thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe